Hey Northridge Nation, today we're going to be doing a small mod that has big benefits and that's the Taser Mini by Z Automotive. And welcome back to the Giveaway Gladiator build series where we're building this awesome 2020 Hydro Blue Gladiator and we're going to give it away. Now, if you've been watching our videos, you see that we've been doing all sorts of really cool big mods to this Gladiator. That big lift, those big tires, those big axles. Now we're going to do a little mod in the form of a Taser Mini by Z Automotive. And this little mod is going to tie all those big mods together. Now when you start messing with newer computer controlled vehicles, you've got to let the computer know what's going on. So you've got to tell it that you've added bigger tires, that you've changed the gearing, heck, that you've even changed the axles and we need to get rid of that uh, FAD, that front axle disconnect. And the Taser Mini will allow you to do that. It's just a little box. It plugs in place of the SGW module, the security gateway module. And well, yeah, it's easy to do. Let's show you how to install it and then we'll go over all those features. So as I said before, the Taser Mini goes in place of the SGW or the Security Gateway module and that is located right behind this panel under the dash. Now, to get at it, you don't have to pull this center panel right here, but it does make it easier to get your eyeballs in there so you can see what you're doing. So we just grab a hold of the bottom and give it a good yank. And you have three clips on each side that you need to snap out to get this panel off. And sometimes those clips do pop off. You want to reach back up underneath the dash and there are two pigtails that plug into the SGW module. You're going to, on the back side are some little quick release pins. You want to depress those and then give it a little wiggle and one comes out and the same to the next one and that one comes out and these are the plugs now we can plug our taser mini in and don't worry which one goes where they only fit one way now you'll notice the light is blinking that is it's telling the computer hey get ready i'm coming aboard you'll also notice there is a mini usb port right there we do recommend that you plug your taser mini into your computer and update it with the latest software or firmware from Z Automotive. Now we can just tuck that back up out of the way and put that panel back in place. So now that we got the Taser Mini installed, we need to marry it to the factory computer and then program it. So first thing we're going to do is hit the start button twice. Now you don't want to have your foot on the brake, we don't want to start the engine, we just want to get into the run mode. So we're here on the run mode in the EVIC, we'll let it cycle through. And now we can use our arrows on the left hand side of the steering wheel and let's scroll down until we hit the audio function. Now that we're in the audio screen, we can use the left arrow on the left hand side hold that down and then use the cancel button on the cruise control to scroll over until we see Mary. Once we see the Mary function, we can hit on off and it's Marion. It's gonna take 20 seconds or so. And now it says it's married. So we can hold down that left arrow and then push the cancel button and the first sub menu we get to is performance let's hit the center button that's the on off for the cruise control and it has our tire set at 31.97 inches well we know we have a set of 40 inch patagonia mts so let's go ahead and change that we're going to use our plus button on the cruise control and just cycle up to 39 inches tall, which is what we know these 40s measure out to. There we go, 39.1, as, as close as we can get. Next up is our gear ratio. And of course, with those Ultimate Dana 60s, we have a 538 gear ratio. So we'll just scroll up.
and 538. Now our next function is the low range in the transfer case. This is the factory 2.72, but let's say if you wanted to swap in a Rubicon transfer case for that four to one ratio, you can change that setting here. Next up is our TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring Sensor or System. And it says yes, but we did not put sensors in these 40 inch tall tires. So we're gonna tell it no. Your next function is the front PSI warning and then the rear PSI warning for those sensors. We don't have to worry about it because we turned it off. But if you happen to have sensors in your tires and you want to adjust that tire pressure that the warning goes off, so this is for that low pressure warning, and you can make those adjustments in these two functions. Radio, we'll click into the radio. Next up is a cargo cam and we have it set at no. Now the cargo cam is where you would enable a front camera with. Z Automotive does make a front camera that is compatible with the Taser. And so you could wire one of those in and then turn it on using this function. Next up would be the DVD CD. This is if you were to add extra components to your audio system. Then the travel link. This is for those who are running the Sirius XM. Off-road pages, no. Lighting. So the lighting submenu. This is where we have daytime run lights, type USA. That is the daytime running lights on, but you can get them to drop out during certain functions. You can also change it to Canada, which is daytime running lights on all the time or off. Next up is your daytime running light location. So you can actually set which lights do you want on. And then our daytime running light dropout. And we have that set at yes. This will turn your running lights off when your turn indicators are on. Fogs enabled. Well, we don't have fogs in this rig, so we're gonna tell that no. Fog drop out, it doesn't matter for us. One touch. Now here's your halo enabled, and we have no. That would be if you swap a set of factory LEDs and want to enable the halo. LED headlamps, we do have those JW speaker LED headlamps, but we do not have the factory ones. LED fogs, no. LED taillights, the taillight is the USA. LED front turn, trailer tow package, which this is a max tow package, so we're just gonna leave that enabled. Now your off-road submenu. Sway bar, no. So this would be for those with the Rubicon that has the electronic sway bar, and maybe you've pulled it out so you can put in a set of those rock jock anti-rocks. Then next is your EP steer or the elect electric power steering pump steering. And this is set at yes, because well, that's what all JTs and JLs have from the factory. But let's say you decide you want to add some power and swap in one of those PSC kits with the hydraulic pump. You would turn your EP steering off here. Then the locker, and it's set at none. Now this is for those who are running a factory Rubicon axles, whether you've swapped them in and you want to enable it or whether you've got a Rubicon model and you've pulled them out and you're gonna put in a set of Ultimate Dana 60s. This is where you would turn that function on and off. Front axle disconnect, no. With the Ultimate Dana 60, we don't have a front axle disconnect, so that's already set at no. The DTCM. And then your other submenu. Now here's your AUGS control. We could turn that on and then go in and program auxiliary switches, the, the Mopar auxiliary switches, if we were to use them. Blind spot sensors we don't have. Then your seatbelt ding. Hey, you want to get rid of that seatbelt ding? You can turn it off right here. The park sensors we don't have to worry about. Now this is a splash. This is your design on the EVIC. And we're just gonna leave it as it's set. Then your dual zone controls. 
a home link, your proximity entry, the auto headlights. So here you have your firmware revision. We've got the TZJL 11.2.3, which is the latest firmware available for the Taser Mini at the time of this video. Our serial number, and then a full reboot, which is always recommended when you make any changes. So let's hit the on off. And it's gonna take about two and a half minutes to do a full reboot. While it's doing this, it's gonna turn on, turn off. The radio's gonna come on and off. You're gonna get a few bells and chimes and whistles and who knows what else. Just let it do its thing until it is done. So now we can actually put the foot on the brake, start the Jeep up, And now we can go into our live functions using that left arrow key again. There's our light show, in motion on. This would be for the in motion navigation. Turn camera off. And this is if you want to automatically turn on the backup camera if the turn signals are being used. And then the hood alarm off. The dark mode, that'll turn off all exterior lights and dash, radio, shifter lighting, etc. Then video, this will turn the backup camera input on. In, and then it's showing us our vacuum. We've got 12.5, 12 12.7 inches. We can actually time our zero to 30 times. And here's where we can start our zero to 60 timing. And now here's a winch. You can actually go in there and set your engine to run at a different RPM if you're planning to do some winching. And we're right back through. So that's our live function. And we'll turn off. So that's our live function. One of the things we really like being avid off-roaders, we love the ability to adjust that engine RPM for the winch. So if you are on a trail and you gotta do some winching, you don't have to have your foot on the gas pedal. You can just hit that winch RPM and run the RPM up a little bit on the engine. Now, a quick word about light shows. You saw the light show earlier. Oh, let's go back into our run mode. And to audio, now we can hold down that left arrow and we can hit our cancel. So here we've got our DTC or diagnostic trouble shooting codes and it says we have one that's that U0168 so now one more we can say clear check engine lights and the check engine light is cleared so then you see the unmarry this is what you'd want to do if you wanted to remove your taser and remove all traces of your taser being hooked up just hit the unmarry function and then we're right back into all the normal sub menus. So with the light show, the taser comes pre-configured with six light shows right out of the box. And then you can do three more, make your own light shows. So if you were doing the whole mall cruising and kicking back with some friends chatting and you wanted to give a light show, you could actually turn this on and enable it so you can use your key fob to turn the light show on and off. Kind of a fun little, um, a fun little mod that Taser throws in there. And now you can see our DTC codes are clear. And then we can just go all the way back through. And full reboot. Anytime you make any changes, you always want to do a full reboot. Then we're just back to the standard EVIC display. 
and you can scroll back to whatever you need. So shut it off and we are good to go. So there you have it, the Taser Mini. With over 50 different functions you can change in your factory computer, it truly is a small mod with big benefits. Now, we tried to go over all the different features that you can change, but maybe we didn't hit one that you're interested in. If so, leave us a comment down below, ask us a little bit more in depth, what do you wanna know about the Taser Mini and what can you or can't you change or how to do it? So leave that in the comment box down below. While you're down there, check the description box for a link to where you can get a Taser Mini for your Jeep JL or JT. While you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button or wherever the heck they are, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Northridge Nation.